Hi everyone, I'm all about welcome to our vlog today. We are celebrating Raul's birthday and um, let me show you what we're doing. Just a disclaimer, this vlog is super short. You don't really see too much. You kind of just see um, a little bit. Uh, Raul just purchased this goma for me and uh, I can't wait to like really utilize it. I'm making four different salsas you'll see later on in the video I have tomates serranos tomatillos and later on you'll see an onion in a little bit I just want to say that when we were making this it definitely was an experience it was so the I wish they made a candle <laughs> a candle with this how this smelled it was so good um, I wish there was smell of vision roast you some of these vegetables and then uh, let me know if you want to wear that perfume because <laughs> I'll make it. This vlog is a little short because, uh, again, we're celebrating Raul's birthday. My mom came to visit with her new um, boyfriend. And so we were meeting him for the first time. And my priority wasn't uh, to vlog. So I apologize because, you know, when I don't know, I like to experience people. So my phone was down. So. Um, you're going to get little bits and pieces, but I hope that um, you get to at least just see a little bit of what was going on. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. Alright, so I made four salsas, four different kind of salsas. This is green salsa with tomatillos, serrano onion. This is mocajete salsa with tomato, cilantro, serranos. Um, tomato sauce, onion, garlic. That's the only one that has garlic. This is avocate green salsa, which is avocado, serranos, onion, cilantro, and um, yeah, lime. And then this is our bowl con tomate, chile de arbol, um, tomato, onion, and um, salt. And that's it. They all taste different, but they're all so good. I'm so proud of myself. And um, I made an extra one of these for my mom to take home. All right, so we're going to use a method. It's basically called confit, where you braise something in fat or lard. In this um, particular um, um, recipe, it's manteca. And uh, we got some pork pieces, pork skin, pork pieces with attached skin, and um, some ribs. And um, it was a total of maybe, I want to say maybe um, eight pounds of meat. And uh, we just, you just basically braise it, again, in fat for three hours. And I think we ended up doing four hours because, again, we lost track of time. Um, but there you go. There's the rib. I should have put that rib at the bottom, but you know, it all worked out in the end. So no worries um, So here's Raul stirring it with his paddle again. I, I purchased that that was his gift because he's always wanted authentic carnitas and um, I we finally did it This has been something that we've been talking about doing since we moved here 12 years ago And we're just getting it done now. So very exciting. All right, so um this, so it cooked for about an hour and a half. We added a uh, Mexican Coke. It has to be Mexican Coke because it has real sugar in it. And then I added a total of the juice of three oranges. So you add the orange juice and then you supposed to stir it, but I it's okay. Um, you stir it up and then you add uh, the orange pieces and then you let that braise for another two hours and uh that's basically it that's what we're doing here i figured oh no i had to stir it but um it all worked out it looks so good mm. yeah. so there are the carnitas we took them out i thought i didn't film it um, here are some condiments, cilantro, onion, lime, Raul requested pickled jalapenos, and then here it is all chopped up, the skin, oh, so good, all right. 
All right, so uh, the carnitas came out beautifully, delicious, um, juicy, crunchy, um, so, so good. I hope y'all liked this vlog. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching as always, and y'all have a great week. All right, we love you guys. Bye.